Hi, I'm Ramon, cosmetic chemist, product developer, and esthetician. And today we are tackling all your questions around post acne dark marks, pigmentation, and discoloration. This is Chem Q&A. So first things first is what is pigmentation? Those dark spots that we see, that darkness, that discoloration, that is a hyper or excess production of melanin. Our skin does produce melanin normally, and obviously those who have deeper skin tones have more melanin production in their skin. But when we see these specific spots or areas where there's a lot darker than the surrounding areas of skin, that is a result of an excess production of pigmentation. That's why you see hyper pigmentation. The next question is what causes hyperpigmentation, dark spots, discoloration? And there's a lot of different triggers. On the one hand, we have more surface level things or external factors. For example, UV damage, sunburns, burns in general, inflammatory assaults, aka injuries, are things that cause an inflammatory response in the skin. So things like allergic reactions, for example, even things like friction. If you got thighs that rub up against each other, you see that area where they do rub against each other and thus create friction tends to be darker than the surrounding areas. So just from those external factors, you see a few different things that can trigger excess pigment production. There are some medical conditions or medical related things or internal factors that can also cause these. Melasma is a condition you also have things related to hormones because those are internal and have different triggers those are more recommended to be treated by doctors and thus those are more drug related therefore we're not going to really touch on those today we're dealing with more things that you can deal with using cosmetic products so the next question is a two-part the main question is how do i target the appearance of this pigmentation well the first question has to be well how does this form in the first place this diagram here showcases the epidermis aka the topmost part of the skin and you can see on the top part the shadow corneum that's the surface of the skin right there and then you can see see at the base of the epidermis what is called a melanocyte and that melanocyte think of it as the melanin factory that's where melanin is produced you can see the little specks in that diagram are the melanin itself and that's just pigment and so it's made in the melanocyte once it's ready to get sent up to the surface little things called melanosomes basically take the melanin up to the surface and that then becomes a pigment that we visually see on the surface of the skin. This next diagram though, it's complex. And this shows you what happens inside that melanin factory for melanin to form in the first place. And basically what happens is you have an enzyme called tyrosinase, you have an amino acid called tyrosine, and those two things through various steps end up becoming melanin. And then once it's made, that melanin has to get taken, as we mentioned earlier, from the factory to the surface of the skin, utilizing those melanosomes, delivery truck drivers. So you can see because this is such a complex process and has so many steps, when it comes to targeting the appearance of pigmentation in a skincare routine, you have to come at the problem from a bunch of different angles. And what's really useful about this diagram too is you can see based on each step what specific ingredients has an effect on the melanin creation process. And you see key callouts here, retinoids. You see something called glucosamine, which in skincare we see as acetylglucosamine. You see things like kojic acid, alpha arbutin, ascorbic acid, aka vitamin C. And then we see niacinamide. And so when it comes to what the next question is asking, how do you fade the appearance? of pigmentation, you really have to utilize an assortment or a mix or a cocktail of all these different ingredients that can target the production of melanin in all these different steps, as well as maybe preventing some of the external factors from causing pigmentation in the first place, aka antioxidants, sunscreen, which is always important to wear for no matter what reason. And then the thing is those specific ingredients, the niacinamides, the vitamin C's, kojic acid, alpha arbutin, they affect the melanin creation process from the source. What do you do to the pigmentation that's already visible and at the surface. And that's where ingredients like, again, retinoids, aka tretinoin if you have a prescription, or retinal or retinol, great alternatives. And things like exfoliants, your AHAs, glycolic acid, lactic acid, PHAs even. And those are going to help slough off the dead skin or help increase skin cell turnover so that you expedite the fading of the surface pigment as well. You have to come at it from every level and every angle. So the next question is, what is a good well-rounded routine for fading the appearance of pigmentation? So first things first, basic skincare staples are always going to be cleanse really well. By doing that, you are rinsing and washing the day off, therefore preventing breakouts, which can cause pigmentation, washing off surface level pollution, aka things that cause free radical damage. On top of that, moisturizer and sunscreen. Obviously, sunscreen just prevents UV damage, and UV damage obviously exacerbates pigmentation. And moisturizers keep skin moisturized, but with moisturization and keeping water levels in the skin high, you're helping the skin's natural shedding process as well. So now let's talk skincare products. When it comes to all the extra things, so we're talking really serums and treatments here, you have a few different routes you can take. You have the catch-all route, aka the 
all-in-one product and two highlights for that are the bright reveal serum from l'oreal and faded by topicals and where these really shine is they have ingredients that once again target pigmentation at a few different levels for example the bright reveal features niacinamide and also ferulic acid so right there niacinamide prevents that transfer of the melanin to the surface ferulic acid really powerful antioxidant and on top of that you have a few different ingredients that again act as the tyrosinase inhibitors so those affect the melanin being produced in the factory and i will say well this is drugstore and this is sephora these actually exist on a very similar price point plane but topicals is a very viral product because it also exemplifies that all-in-one product so you have ingredients in here that act as antioxidants and skin soothers but also really good ingredients for fading pigmentation from a few different levels you have niacinamide you have alpha arbutin you have turmeric and you have azelaic acid as well so again we're really targeting pigmentation from a few different levels azelaic acid gently exfoliates to some degree and then you have the ingredients that inhibit the pigmentation development process internally as well these can be a little bit more intense they are more nighttime treatments if you want them to be if you want more everyday ingredients or everyday serums i like a good daytime serum that features a few different ingredients for example the fenty watch your tone or the glow recipe niacinamide dew drops obviously niacinamide is in both of these the fenty watch your tone also has a vitamin c derivative and so with that you're again you're getting the antioxidant benefits as well as niacinamide which in my opinion is a really big factor because it prevents again that melanin from transferring from the factory to the surface of the skin and then you have exfoliants and retinoids with exfoliants you have a wide category of ingredients depending on what you can tolerate glycolic acid is more spicy and it's one of the more stronger AHAs you also have lactic acid and then I love a good PHA very gentle surface exfoliation the oat milk PHA serum from equal reactions really good option if you have sensitive skin for example and then retinoids retinoids do everything I like this one from Beauty of Josun it's retinal which is a really good potent retinoid but it's in a really gentle formula this is technically an eye serum but I use it all over the face and retinoids again they help speed up skin cell turnover while exfoliants help to slough off surface level dead skin therefore that power combo just helps to fade that already visible pigmentation and a little pro tip you want to simplify your routine a lot or you're someone that's lazy like me a sunscreen that has a good kick of all of that in one so uv protection as well as things that help to target the appearance of pigmentation is also a really good option this one from naturium has spf 50 plus pa4 plus protection but also has niacinamide and the vitamin c derivative already formulated inside of it so that was Q&A where I answered all of your questions about all things pigmentation, dark spots, and discoloration. Let me know down below in the comment section any other skincare, beauty, or makeup related questions you might have that I can talk about here on the channel. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.